Hey guys, we have another special Metallica guitar for you. It's Keith, your friend here live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. And yes, we've got ESP Grinch number 78, guys. This is crazy. Absolutely amazing. Certificate signed by James Hetfield. This is one of his rarest guitars. They only made about... I think it's about 260 of these. I think 300 were scheduled to be made, but an entire container went overboard, I think for the shipment to Australia. And of those that were made, there was only about 260 that survived and actually made it to market. This one being number 78. We've had three others, if I remember correctly. You can check on the channel to compare. And this one is an absolute mint case queen. Unbelievable condition. You can tell just by looking at the pickups, the font on them is bright and vibrant. I don't see any pick scratches over here on the bridge. I don't see any screwdriver marks for making adjustments. This thing looks like it has just sat in its case totally unplayed for 16 years. Wow. Look at this beautiful green metallic flake. It's a very distinct, very special ESP model. Now, it does say LTD on the headstock, and there's a reason for that. It's James Hetfield's only uh, pure LTD signature model that was only made as an LTD, and there's a very good reason. That is because his actual Grinch is an LTD Viper. So his model's an LTD, which is why you get an LTD, and they didn't make it any different. The specs and components, all top-notch, exactly what you would expect to feel on a Japanese custom shop ESP. All the care and attention of a custom shop model has been given and that is evidenced by, well, for one, the components. I mean, you have USA locking Spurzel tuners, the same that James has there. You have a special serial number, Grinch number 78, that is completely unlike any other LTD. The graphics go all the way on the back, back of the neck, the body, control covers recessed very nicely. It's the best of the best, guys. Very special guitar. A must-have for the Metallica collector. And again, a very finite, very limited amount of these. And as far as mint condition case queens with hand-signed certificate, that is not printed. That is definitely, definitely hand-done. Wow. Wow. With the ESP case, yeah, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna see many of these. There's maybe a handful in the world in this condition, and I think we've we've had all the other ones. Uh, there is an ESP hang tag. I think it came with the case. It's for a different Viper, but that was in the case with it because this is a fitted Viper style proper ESP case. This is just some paper on there. Very clean, hard plastic handle. All your latches are good and intact. Little bit on the case right there, not the end of the world. And then I'll just move the certificate out of the way here. I mean, you can see this is just all the tips Totally perfect intact. Wow. It's not possible to have a nicer one than this. This is in brand new unplayed condition, guys. Yeah. <laughs> really cool. Kind of have a bent angle here, as you see. So you get a contour line and again, great access on this 24 fret 
baritone. ESP on the truss rod cover. Just awesome. The best abalone small dot inlays. And then looks like Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl or acrylic Grinch logo. Definitely contrasts from the abalone. Beautiful rosewood fretboard. If you want the best, you are looking at it. Again, Grinch number 78. Compare it to the other ones on the channel. These generally sell very quickly. Prices have been going up on them, especially as the prices on the other earlier signature model. James Hetfield guitars are going through the roof. Um, these are definitely selling for more than Trucksters. I can tell you that much. Yeah, awesome. All right, guys. Well, what else is new? We got back. We followed Metallica on tour. We went uh, to, I think, 11 shows, which was pretty wild. 11 shows, 8 countries. Had a blast. And we were thinking about going to Australia to check them out there because I've never been to Australia. And unfortunately, well, fortunately for us, we didn't book it because unfortunately, uh, James has booked himself into rehab, which is kind of a shock to me because he was so... Um, so sober, so together, really put on a tremendous show for the whole tour that would never even occur to me that there's any sort of addiction or substance abuse issues. And they've had to cancel the entire Australian leg of the tour, which is a real shame. Hope he gets well soon. Wish him the absolute best. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a brave thing to do to publicly admit a weakness like that and to publicly seek help and apologize. You know, they could have come up with a number of excuses for this, but they were very honest and direct about it. I'm sure the, the band is frustrated. The family members are frustrated, but, uh, in the end, we're all human. We make mistakes and we have to be able to better ourselves and uh, make amends. So we wish him the best. All right, guys, on that note, I am going to say good night. It's quite late. I've done a few videos. I had a, a nerve wracking audition with BBC that I flubbed halfway through today, but I got through luckily enough. So uh, I'll keep you posted on that. And otherwise, stick around on the channel. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming up soon. All right, guys. Later.